against the flood Oh, Ophelia May falls in love All right, everyone, I am ready. Let's do this Boulder Skyline Traverse FKT attempt. Uh, what is today? I think it's May 26th. Yes, May 26th. It's about 6.14 a.m. right now. I'll probably get going in about 10 minutes from now. And uh, I tweeted this out two days ago. Gauntlet has been dropped. Boulder Skyline FKT has been dropped from three hours and nine minutes to two hours and 53 minutes. Nice work, David. So the bottom line, the times keep getting faster and faster and faster from the two weeks ago when I attempted. So this is exciting. I got the Speed Go 4s on. I've got the GoPro. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on now. Oh, there we go. All right, top of South Boulder in 47 minutes from South Mesa Trail. Oh, had to work for that one. Had to work for that one. All right, let's go. Open a bear. Boom. Okay, we're at 56. 20 approximately 56 20 to the top of bear now we're going over to green this is a really fast section so i'm gonna put the camera away where do i go i think this way <laughs>
Top of uh, green and 135. Top of green, 135. Woo! We're working, baby. We're working. I went that way last time. Whoops. It's this way. Ranger trail. Top of Flagstaff, 154. I've got 59 minutes. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close, ladies and gentlemen. I got a haul. Okay. Woo! Big downhill, big downhill.42 to the top of Mount Sanitas. I've got 11 minutes to get to the car or to the parking lot. 242. My goodness, we made it back to the car. Oh, Dom's delayed onset muscle soreness. There was a point, I think between bare and green, that uh, I felt like my legs were going, um, uh, I can't even think right now. Uh, what's it called? Lactic acid. Uh, lactic acid building up in my legs. So I was, I was moving and I honestly, I don't know if I got it everybody. So I'll get you the update. Uh, once I get back to the studio, I just don't know if I beat the time. It was uh, close. I'll just put it that way. Very, very close. And it was an unsupported attempt, just so you know, meaning nobody else was out there helping me. Just me and the mountains. Well, of course, I was thinking about all of you along the way, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, let's get back to True Love, get an update from her. It is Tuesday, Tuesdays with True Love, so here we go. Let's go, let's go. Oh my, my, that was amazing. That was amazing. All right, let me open up my drink real quick. That was the closest I have felt to a race really since the World Mountain Running Championships down in Argentina. What, six months ago approximately? Like, it felt like a race out there for the Boulder Skyline Traverse fastest known time attempt. Unbelievable. All right, let's break it down. So cool. And I'll get you the time here in a second. Uh, but during these times of the coronavirus, I've been talking about it a lot on the vlog. And you know what? I'm actually going to ask the question of the day right now. What is an FKT in your area that you're interested in? Or a Strava segment, like a personal Strava segment 
Uh, and I've asked a similar question to this a couple weeks ago, but what is an FKT in your area, anywhere in the world that you're like, you know what, that's interesting. I might have to, or do you have an idea to create an FKT in your area? That's the beauty of Fastest Known Times. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Fastest Known Times is a, an old tradition, mostly in trail running, but I think it's probably gonna continue to creep more and more into urban running as well where an, it's not a race, an official race, uh, but what happens, thanks to GPS watches now, we can compare our times to other runners on the exact same course, running them on, running our effort on a different time from somebody else. And yes, it all, I use Strava, it funnels into Strava, it populates, you're looking on the screen right now. So anyway, that's what fastest known times are. It's an, an attempt to run as fast as possible, over a given course uh, and compare your results to other people. And during the time of coronavirus, I think it's amazing, epic, to have a, an opportunity to challenge ourselves in a really, really, really hard way. And I must say, everyone, it was a hard, hard effort. Hold on. Like I had to, I had to hustle the entire way. I knew two hours and 53 minutes was gonna be I wasn't sure how tough it would be, but I knew it was going to be very, very difficult. Okay, one more caveat before we dive into the time is that um, within Fastest Known Times, there's supported efforts and unsupported efforts. Usually for like a longer FKT, we're talking, you know, 30, you know, I don't know, no, 50 plus miles, 100 plus miles, big efforts. You are, you usually have a crew that helps support you, meaning that they're carrying food for you, carrying water for you. Um, and then you have unsupported where, yes, yeah, some people just pack the food in their backpack and they just go for, you know, 12 hours or days on days on end sometimes as well. Like, for example, the Appalachian Trail, you know, a big FKT, um, so which would be um, people do do it unsupported. But um, I, I don't know what the actual supported time is at this point. Anyway, what I'm saying is today I was unsupported, meaning I didn't have a pacer. Nobody was carrying gear for me. It was just me out there, me in the mountains. So uh, there's kind of two different categories. So when I mentioned the 253, that is the FKT on the Boulder Skyline Traverse for a supported effort, meaning um, the gentleman that did it, David, who I've mentioned before, is who's fast, like David. I don't know you, but you are fast, sir. Um, and then he also did it. So he ran it with somebody else. I think there was a couple other people. I'm not exactly, just like three days ago. And they were basically working together, but pushing each other. So that does, I guess, uh, under the FKT, um, not official rules, but just like guidelines, that would be considered a supported effort because you have somebody, quote unquote, kind of pacing you or pushing you, okay? Um, so here's the deal. The official time uh, was 2.53.01, and I ran 2.55.35, okay? I missed it by two and a half minutes. Two, for the uh, overall, so you've got, uh, you've got supported, unsupported, and honestly, everyone, I was going for the overall time. Um, I knew I could get this, the uh, unsupported FKT, but I wanted to go for that 253.01, and I missed it by two and a half minutes, all right? But here's what's encouraging about the effort today, even though I did not get the overall FKT. Well, first of all, it plants a seed to stay hungry. You know what I mean? Keep training hard, uh, but also, uh, it's early in the train in this training season, meaning early in trail running season. Like it's not even June yet. All right. Uh, so that's point number one. Uh, point number two is that I am a climber. I'm a, I'm a climber. So meaning I like to go up. I like to run up. So I believe I ran about three minutes faster than David and Matthias, who did it three days ago, from the trailhead at the start to the top of uh, I believe it's called Shadow Saddle. Shadow Saddle. And so that makes me, that's encouraging to me, like, and I felt pretty good on the uphill. And compared to my effort two weeks ago, I beat my time by about 55 seconds. Uh, so in two weeks of consistent training, and you know how I'm always talking about be consistent in your training, 
I was able to cut 55 seconds off of my time over the exact same section. And here it is on your screen for a little more detail with respect to vertical gain, the distance, et cetera, et cetera. So overall feeling real good about my climbing ability, but it tells me that now I need to work on downhill running. And I knew that especially, wow, if the Pikes Peak Marathon happens, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to happen. We don't know yet, but I really, really, really got to, I got to practice downhill running because obviously it means that David and this Matthias gentleman, that they gained time on, gained time on me uh, on the, you know, more so on the rolling sections or maybe the downhill sections. So that's something that I can put into my notes and uh, know, okay, I got to work on downhill running moving forward and just for example like here's a section like it looks like he uh david and this matthias gentleman put um put about 90 seconds on me through this one segment on strava so again and it's um i believe it's yeah it's kind of rolling overall downhill and then an uphill at the end to get to the top of green but so anyway it's like it's a good lesson learned for me for play for uh future endeavors in the mountains. So there you have it. Second attempt at the Boulder Skyline Traverse. I hope you enjoyed that. Absolute, like me carrying the GoPro and getting footage for you. And like, I love just being able to share the trails with all of you around the world, no matter where you're at. Maybe you live in the middle of a huge city and you don't have an opportunity to get to the trails. That's another reason I just love carrying that GoPro. All right, before we move in, inside to get a uh, little update on True Love, is uh, here is the Hoka Speed Go 4. Amazing. Or sorry, Hoka Evio Speed Go. Not this be Hoka Evio Speed Go. I just don't know at this point what other shoe I would choose for an effort like today. Like I'm it's tempting to try the Solomon S Lab Sense 7 or 8 down the line on that exact same route, but man, i I tell you what, just protecting the legs a little bit with that extra excuse me, with that extra stack height, I just think that this shoe is doing really, really well. Now, if it was a 13 mile FKT attempt, today it was like six, just under 17 miles. If it was 13 miles, I would go with the Solomon S-Lab Sense 7 or 8, just so you know, SG. But because it's 17 miles, it's just get a little up there in distance, um, I decided to go with this guy and I'm glad that I did. All right, let's go inside. Actually, we're going on date night. We're going on date night. Let's get a, a little update from True Love on date night. <laughs> we made it, everybody. All right, we're going in to grab tacos. We're on date night, and um, I just gave True Love the update on the FKT. Woo -woo! Earned some tacos tonight, yes. absolutely. Yes, so, you did. And a mar little margarita as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Um, but last week, yes. first week of running, yes. good work. Um, it was three weeks, uh, three days uh, out of the last seven where she ran uh, two minutes on, three to four minutes of walking. Yep. Two minutes on, three to four minutes of walking, four times. Yes. And then finishing it off with a walk. Yep. And this next week for True Love's 5K training, uh, Tuesdays with True Love, yeah. um, we're going to bump up the interval, same amount of days, so three days again okay. out, of, out of the next seven. Okay. And then we're going to bump it up to... Um, as well as two minutes on, three to four minutes off, okay. but you're going to do an extra interval. Okay. If so that makes five so five times okay. for. That makes sense. Sound good? Yeah. All I right. like that. It's a baby step. It's I like a baby. That. Yeah. We're just easing into it. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. So <laughs> I, I got to go get tacos. Okay. True Love's going to give the update and I'll be back in a second. Okay. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Okay, YouTube. <laughs> the first minute of the first day of running, I thought I was going to die. And I. I was like, this can't pop. And I was like, surely it's been two minutes. And I looked down and it was only 43 seconds. <laughs> Listen, baby steps. We are not even kidding. Then the second time I ran, you know, it still felt like I was going to die. But then the third day, the third time when I was doing the running, walking intervals, I don't want to say that it was easy, but I did not feel like I wanted to die. And that third time, the third day when I was doing the running, my running was faster than my walking. Whereas the first two days... The walking was faster than the running. <laughs> need my ID. Oh, yeah. Oh, good job. Oh, is it under? Uh-oh. Do you need to take mine? Did you bring uh, a wallet? I actually don't think you brought your wallet. I don't think I did. I think I did just finish the update, though. Here, can you... Should I come? Yeah, you go. Okay. Um. <laughs> yep. And you pass me the 20. Um, okay, so you're going to get it. Yep. And I'll close it out. Perfect. All right. Love you. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> 
team effort around here. Forgot my ID, and so uh, True Love's got to get the food because the margarita. So, all right, here we go, everyone. Um, Closing it out. Closing it out. We love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. FKT, Boulder Skyline, Epicness. We'll be back. We'll be back. You know that. All right, we're going to toss it back to the first attempt from two weeks ago. First attempt, Boulder Skyline, FKT, where I, uh, well... I'll let you just go watch it. I'll let you just go watch it. Right there, right there, right there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. See beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow.